Bubby? You want your ducky? <laughs> Did your ducky? Do you want your ducky? You want your ducky? Hey, no, it's okay. I know. I know. I know. I know, Bubby. Hi, guys. Good morning. This is Tiffany with 100 Plus. Hi, Bubby. I know you all recognize this handsome, distinguished older gentleman. <laughs> Bubby, can you please look at the camera? Your ducky? You want your ducky? Bubby. So, um, I am doing this video because I did not have a chance to do it yesterday. Um, we did take Bubby to the neurologist at Coral Springs Animal Hospital yesterday. Bubbies! Bubbies! Um, I was trying to think all night kind of how to do this video to explain. Um, we've had more cases than I can count with um, our internal medicine specialist, Dr. Cannon. So when she speaks to me personally, I understand everything that's coming out of her mouth. I understand the workings and the ins and outs of the gut and um, the internal systems and how they work and certain diseases and things like that. Um, neurology is a completely different animal. Um, and we haven't had too many cases um, where we'd have to go see a neurologist. So when she was speaking, it was kind of like she was um, speaking a foreign language. So um, I'm gonna try to explain as well as I can, <laughs> um, where we are at with Bubby. Um, she, of course, watched him walk um, to get an idea of his gait. She did the normal testing where um, she flips the paws over to see um, the reaction of that. Um, she was grabbing his toes to try to see if he had the reaction to pull them away. Um, she did um, a physical examination of his spine to see if there was any pain in his spine, which there wasn't, which was great news. I know, I know. Um, there was several different um, possible reasons um, for what's going on with Bubby. Um, and she kind of explained it as a neuromuscular um, disorder, which could affect the muscles, it could affect the nerves, it could affect um, the, um, the skeletal, um, it could affect all of them, um, it could be a combination of two, it could be just one. Um, she did say that she did believe he's got some nerve um, issues going on just by the way he walks. Um, he doesn't really walk on his paws, he kind of walks more back here on the front in the back. Um, so she does think that he does have something going on with his nerves. Um, the thing is she took a bunch of blood because, um, she sent them to different labs at different universities because some of the things that she was saying actually could be caused by, um, disease or illness. So, um... Not that he would ever be back to like a normal spry puppy, but if, if some of the issues were caused by um, 
by an illness or a disease, we could get the correct medications on board and he could um, be very comfortable and, and, you know, happy and, and, and doing well. Um, so I am not even going to attempt to pronounce the names of the things that she was looking for or that she thought could potentially be wrong with him. Um, but we are testing for several different things. Okay. Um, we are testing for several different, um, potential reasons, um, for what's going on with him. And we should have those results back, um, I believe, within a few days. She does not believe he's in pain, which is good. That's the good news. Um, as I said, she did the exam um, up his spine, which is what we were pretty worried about. And there was no pain reaction whatsoever to his spine. So that's really, that was really good to see. Um, we are keeping him on the gabapentin, which is for pain. Just, she said, absolutely, you can keep him on that. Um, it can only help. Um, it won't hurt. So he is on the gabapentin, just in case for like old man reasons that he might be a little stiff or things like that. The gabapentin will help with that. Here you are. <laughs> Hi. Um... As far as this vocalization, things like that, it's not pain. Um, so that is, she explained to me, which she sees pretty much every single day in her office, as um, canine cognitive disorder. I know, it's okay. So basically what that translates to is... Uh, kind of like Alzheimer's in a person. So the vocalization, um, the, you know, when he is calm and then all of a sudden he kind of looks around and has like a little panic, like he doesn't know where he is. Um, basically it's, it's, it's an old age thing and she sees it quite a lot. Um, the thing with that is she gave me this brochure for this supplement that she says is wonderful for that, that can really help kind of calm his brain down. And um, it usually, you usually start seeing results within like a week. Um, she told me not even to get it at the animal hospital because it's too expensive. So um, we can get it on Amazon, which is great. I'm gonna do that. Um, he's getting around on the rugs. He's getting around in the backyard. Um, he is, hi, I know, I know. He loves his people. He loves his attention. Um, so, you know, we, we said that we were going to do everything possible for him. And we are um, obviously shy of, of doing any kind of surgery or anything that would need anesthesia or anything like that. Because, of course, due to his age, we would never do that to him. We wouldn't put him through that. But we are going to make sure if there's any kind of medications or supplements or anything that we can give him that would make his quality of life even better than it is now, then we are absolutely going to do that for him. So he um, was started on um, a supplement for his liver. Um, he did have a UTI when we rescued him from the shelter. So I guess his um, liver enzymes were a little elevated. So she wanted to start him on um, the liver um, medication, which also will help because she wanted to start him on prednisone. So it'll help protect his liver when we start him on the steroid, which hopefully will give him even more strength. And um, hi, I know, it's okay. And uh, we started him on doxycycline, an antibiotic. Um, she said she wanted to get ahead of the game. If it is um, any of these um, illnesses that can kind of attach themselves to the nervous system and cause the um, weird gait and things like that, they, they can be pretty much resolved with medications. So she wanted to start him on um, an antibiotic immediately. 
to kind of get ahead of the game while we waited for the test results. So he was started on Doxy and he was doing great this morning, right? He was walking around the yard and he did his peepees and his poopies and he had two bowls of food for breakfast. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Um, so he's doing great and, and we are keeping our promise to him that we are going to do everything possible to make mm -hmm. sure that this boy's golden years cause are going to be the happiest that we can possibly make them. Right, bud? Right, bubby? Right, bubby? That's right. This little tail never stops wagging. Even the, the neurologist and the um, techs that were in the room with him, they couldn't believe it. You know, they were doing um, all these maneuvers with his paws and his back and and they you know had to take blood and they were like god his little tail just never stops wagging because he's just so happy to be around a person right so um with all that being said i am going to show you guys um see this is some of the tests and things they were looking for um, this is what the bill was for yesterday to go see the neurologist, um, and to have the testing done. So, of course, I put the PayPal link on this video because we are desperate to try to recover some of the cost of this. Um, it was something that we felt like we needed to do. We owed it to Bubby to get him to a neurologist to see um, what was going on with him, to see if there was anything more that we could do to improve um, his quality of life. Um, he's doing great now, but if we could make him even better, then why wouldn't we? Um, and of course, we also wanted to make sure that there was no pain. Um, that was one of our biggest concerns when we pulled him. You know, we wanted to make sure that he was okay and he wasn't in pain and um, the neurologist confirmed that he is not in any pain. Um, I watched her do the um, exam on his spine and pressing down on his spine and his hips and his neck area and um, there was no pain. He didn't wince, he didn't whine, he didn't cry, nothing. So that was excellent, excellent news. Um, to know that, that he wasn't in pain. Um, so just that right there was, was worth, um, the trip to the neurologist because, you know, we're not inside their heads. We don't know. And when you hear him do things like this, it's a little nerve wracking that you don't know if it's pain or not. And of course we would never want him to be in pain. So the neurologist confirmed he is not in pain, which was worth the over a thousand dollars um that we spent yesterday to take him to the neurologist so the paypal link is um on this video if you can find it in your heart please donate towards his bill for the neurologist hi hello bubby i know and what we would really, really, really love to see is for somebody to step forward to bring this handsome, sweet boy into their home forever. He is approximately 14 years old. It's, you know, a guesstimate. Um, he's in his golden years. And this is not where he should be spending them. He is safe and he is loved and you guys know we've done everything. We've got rugs down, he's got beds, he loves that bed. He's got a bed by the door so he can watch everything happen. He's got his stuffies, he's got his food and his water. But it's not the same as being in a loving home and having the attention and the love all to himself Hi. I know. Hi. 
So if you love the seniors, a beautiful, handsome, loving, sweet, happy boy like this. No, 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 no itchy. No, get out of there. I don't want, nobody wants to see that. You can um, email us at 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com and say that you would like to come and meet Bubby. He is the epitome of love. When I tell you, when you come in here and sit with him, all he wants to be is touched and petted and then he just can't get close enough. He just wants to be in your lap and he wants to kiss your face off, right? You tell him. You tell him, Bubby. You tell him, Bubby. See, I want a new mommy and daddy, please. Or just a mommy. Or just a daddy. Or any combination will do. Right? Look at that face. Look at that sweet little face. He really is nothing but love, guys, and he really deserves a home of his own. What? I know. Hi. He gets around great on these rugs and the yoga mats. He gets around great outside on the turf. Um, the only place he would have an issue... Um, would be on tile, but um, the neurologist even said that we could um, try booties on him that could potentially help him grip better on the tile, and I was actually going to look to see if we had some here in the rescue house um, to try with him, because if, if that works, then that would be great. He could get around on every surface. I know. I know, handsome. I know. Hold it. What? This way once. <laughs> That's all he wants. Right? I know. I know. I know. You're such a little lovey. You're such a little lovey boy. Ooh. My face is all... No. Full of kisses. I know. I know. Tell them. Tell them you want a home. Tell them you want a home. Tell them you want a home. Wait, you want belly rubs? Say, I would like a home, please, where I can sit and kiss my new owner all day long. Right? Right? Please, guys, there's got to be somebody out there with a soft spot for the seniors that has room for this little guy in your home. He's a fantastic little boy. He is potty trained. He's never had an accident in this room since we brought him here from the shelter. He's obviously non-destructive as he's got plenty of beds and blankets and toys and things in here. He's never chewed up anything. He's just an easy, easy boy. Hi, I know. I know. When you get that close, it's kind of hard to get you on video. All right, hold on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. How's that? How's that? Tell everybody you want a home. Tell everybody you want a home. Tell them. You can tell them. <laughs> this is all he wants. He wants to be in your lap. He wants to give you kisses. He's a super easy, super easy senior who deserves to be in a loving forever home. Right? Right.
So if you're interested in Bubby, please email us or call us so we can arrange a time for you to come and meet him. There's no way you would not fall in love with his sweet, sweet demeanor and his sweet, beautiful soul. And also, if you can find it in your heart to donate towards his care yesterday at the neurologist. Whoops, sorry, Bubby. $1,200 for him to go see the neurologist. Every dollar counts. If you think a dollar doesn't help, it does. The PayPal link is listed on the video. Or you can mail a check to 100 Plus Animal Rescue at 345 East Commercial Boulevard, Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. Um, Rhonda, his breathing issues, um, which is very common as well with older dogs. He's got a bit of a collapsing trachea, um, which is very, very, very common. Very common in small breeds. Um, so just when he gets a little bit overexcited, that's what happens. So you just calm him down and then his breathing goes right back to normal. She said his lungs sounded great. Um, there was no, no issues with his lungs or with his breathing. It was just a little bit of a collapsing trachea when he gets really, really excited, which is super, super common in small breed dogs. Hi. Hi, did you enjoy that little water break? Did you? Now you want more kisses. Okay, hold on. Hold on, there he is. So, that was more good news that his lungs and everything sounded fantastic. I know, kissy, 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 kissy. I know, kissy, kissy, kissy. Yeah. I know. I know, but. <laughs> He just gets so excited. He just wants love so badly. He just is craving it. He just... There he is. He's in my lap. It's where he wants to be. He just wants a lap. And somebody to love. So please, guys, we've done the work. We've gotten him out of the shelter. We've had him see all the vets that he needs to. We're going to have him on whatever supplements and things that they say we should have him on to keep him happy and comfortable. And now he just needs a home. He just needs a wonderful, loving, caring, compassionate home for the rest of his days, however long that might be. So if you guys can offer this handsome boy a home or if you just like to come and meet him to see if you fall in love, which I guarantee you will, please email us. Oh, Jeanette, thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Thank you so, so much. I was actually going to order it when I um, finished this video, but thank you so much for doing that. Super appreciate that. Hi. Hi. I know. I know. All right, guys. So this is the Bubby update. I know a bunch of you were asking how the doctor appointment went, so I just wanted to let you guys know what we know. Um, and the biggest thing is... He doesn't have a breathing problem, his lungs sound great, and he is not in pain. So, that's huge. Right? Let's take his perch. That's his little perch. He likes to look out the door and see what's happening. So, again, guys, please, please, please reach out if you'd like to meet him. Let's get him out of this room and into a loving home where he can be adored and spoiled and be somebody's lap dog.
which is all he wants. What are you doing? Are you waiting for your new owners? Is that it? You just waiting for them to show up? He is, guys. He's waiting for his angel. If you think you can be it, please reach out. This is Tiffany signing off with Bubby. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Let's get this baby in a home.